ancient giant skulls with horns discovered at Sire in the 1880s, and this one is to be found in the Philadelphia Museum. A large number of human skulls were discovered during an excavation in Sire, Bradford County, Pennsylvania in 1880. The discovered skulls were interesting in a certain manner concerned with anatomy. Interestingly, the skulls consisted of horns right above two inches from the eyebrow. The most fascinating part is that the average height of the beings to whom the ancient giant skulls with horns belonged would have been around seven feet tall. An excavation was conducted in the 1880s by a group of scientists in the northeastern part of the state near the New York State line. The team consisted of historian, a historian who belonged to Pennsylvania State, two professors, and a member of the Presbyterian Church hierarchy they had worked with their way to a town called Sire, and they became interested in the ground that appeared to be burial mounds of the Native Americans. The group was headed by Dr. P.J. Donohue of the church along with the professors A.B. Skinner and W.K. Moorhead of the American Investigation Museum and Phillips Academy in Andover, and they proceeded to the first of the mounds to begin a detailed excavation and what they found next baffled the scientists for almost more than a decade. Ancient giant skulls with horns discovered in Sire, Pennsylvania. They, the researchers stumbled across several skeletons of males by scraping away heavy rocks and dirt in the Moray farm site while conducting research at Tioga Point in the Susquehanna Valley. And in the mound, they uncovered the remains of 68 men, 68 men, believed to have been buried around the year 1200 AD. Now let's remember, burial of various men in a mound uh, was of course very common in ancient Greece. One of the most famous mounds is the uh, uh, Athenian warriors in the mound of, uh, the burial mound of Marathon. That's where the Marathon run starts and ends in the center of Athens. Um, so they used to bury them in mounds, and if they were all men, it was probably because of the fact that they were involved in a war, and they were the, uh, the, the men that had lost their lives in, in that, that battle, as in the case of Marathon and many other mounds in the ancient Greek areas. Now, the discovery here was carefully analyzed by the team, and while looking more closely, the team came up with an opinion that the ancient giant skulls with horns must belong to males, who were over seven feet tall. However, the fascinating height comes second. The most baffling factor is that the skulls of the mysterious men had horns, two actual horns, and it's believed that this ancient giant skull with horns belonged to giant men who died nearly 800 years ago. The scientists wrapped the remains of the skeletons and sent them for an examination to the American Investigation Museum in Philadelphia as the skulls reached the examination fa facility, it baffled the scientists as well. And later on, the skulls were claimed to have been lost or even misplaced. Also, there were no official statements by Donahue, Skinner, and Moorhead describing the discovery of any human skeletons at Sire exhibiting gigantism or horned protrusions. So what do you think? This is, is this just a hoax or were the horned skulls lost on purpose? Again, another... Um, Event of Losing uh, Nephilim Giants. This is by Anne Srivastava on Infinity Explorers. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.